So when's the last time you got high? Yesterday. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm high. When you gonna stop getting high? I don't wanna get high, just I want a life, man. Just, just get to Huntington, all right? Yeah. All right, I love you. Bad as it might sound, I'm just trying to stay sober myself. I haven't touched none in over four years, and what's helped me the most is by helping other people. That's all you hear about is the bad stuff. There are so many people that haven't overdosed and died, but found recovery and they've lived. <laughs> we first knew about each other through recovery. We met up and played basketball one night. I whooped her, wore her no, out. No, you didn't. And she fell in love with me. I mean. Helping people, helping people has what kept us sober. It's his job, it's his work. He helps people all day long, 24 seven. I just need a little bit more time with you, man. I just, I really need to see if you all the way through. I believe you are though. You're doing everything you're supposed to. But I ain't gonna give you too much credit. It'll pump that big old ugly head of yours right on up, man. <laughs> I don't see myself in doing really anything spectacular other than I show up. Basically what it looks like is a couple of properties filled with a bunch of men who are trying to transition into sobriety, trying to develop a better quality of life. You have to maintain continuous sobriety. And the purpose of the program is to help men get established and become productive, tax-paying, child support-paying citizens. We want them to grow up. In Huntington, West Virginia, we've embraced the problem. Every program is gonna work for somebody, but not all programs work for everybody. We see all kinds of people and celebrate all different sorts of paths to recovery. Because of you know heroin, I caught a felony. After messing up so many times, going through probation, they finally gave me my last chance, which was long term. By the end of my stay, they asked me to come here to West Virginia and um, replicate that facility into Recovery Point Charleston. You know, we have to work on ourselves before we can be anything for our family. It's a very old treatment model that works very well, especially with the criminal population. In a way, the people that are in the program that have been there longer than others lead the people that are newer through this recovery process. People sleep in close quarters. They're all about camaraderie. I needed someone to tell me when to eat, when to sleep what work to do. I need someone to, to teach me the skills. A program like Recovery Point is, it's necessary. There needs to be programs that are a lot more structured. It's necessary that you give them something that you know is pure and you know is genuine and you've had firsthand experience with yourself. I don't really know if I knew how bad my problem really was. I was a part of a, another halfway house, supposed to be a sober living home. Actively used drugs inside of it. Ended up homeless on heroin and on parole, living at the Huntington City Mission. I tell you what, I missed a lot of damn Thanksgivings, a lot of them. I tell you right now, I ain't gotta miss Thanksgiving no more. In fact, me and Peanuts ate a few Thanksgivings in the penitentiary together, ain't we? was pretty much homeless. Took him off the streets. He was actually sleeping on porches. He's, he's way wiser than his years. Maybe that's me from being in the streets 
at an early age in the things that he didn't seen and been through. I mean, you slept on a porch and look at you now. You're keeping other people from having to go through what you went through. But when you, you help one person directly, you almost indirectly help countless others. We need as many options as we can get. Those programs work for some people. When I came up here and went to newness of life, they actually worked with me and showed me how to like pay bills, how to manage my money, how to be responsible. I actually have people around with care. Because all the other programs, once you graduated, no one was really there for you. You couldn't just call a main director up like, hey, man, I need help. That was like the biggest thing I wanted. The responsibility of being someone that he uh, respects so much and looks to for leadership. I really wanted to find my purpose. And I realized that I, I did have one and I, I just, I needed to find my own lane in it. In response to the problem, Huntington, West Virginia really has grown a wide array of recovery programs and treatment programs so that there are many ways that a person can actually be successful in their recovery journey. It's not about the program. It's about the people and the heart that's at the center. Her, her relationships that she has with, with her women, those are her friends, those are her sisters. Coming here, you know, it has not only been the biggest blessing, but the biggest learning experience. So many people in recovery that really are working and giving back and contributing. I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. But as of right now, I just show up. I'm picking mine up, I'm showing up Sunday through Sunday.